you know, this may shock the world, but I may just go in there myself. You should, and you should get laser eyes. But, <laughs> you know, we're almost out of time here, but let me just leave you with a couple of thoughts. One, I, I have no expertise with regard to trading or speculation right so anything in the next one to two year time frame i don't I, I don't presume to give any advice other than if you choose to trade you should be good at it and if you're going to speculate don't speculate with money you can't afford to lose i am on i am the, on the tech long term tech investment like decade long trend and on the saving side and i think that if we look at a decade, you've got the banks, they're all printing money. The EU Central Bank, the Chinese Bank, the US Bank, you've noted it. Uh, we were expanding the money supply by 7% in the Western world, faster in the developing world um, for the, about the past decade. And now we're expanding the money supply by 20% or more. There will be a debate about what it is and how long it will last. Nobody believes that the countries in the world, either China or Europe or the US are going to run a net uh, at anything other than a deficit. We think there's going to be deficit spending. We're going to keep buying bonds. We're going to keep suppressing the interest rate. So we know we're going to keep spending the money supply. For the government to pay for all of its government programs, they have two choices, inflation or taxation. So what they're doing right now is they're using inflation everywhere on earth in order to pay for government spending and intervention. You know that, I know that. Inflation works as long as they can inflate the currency and the, and the value of currency derivatives. If you're sitting in a portfolio of, of, of bonds, value stocks, currency, or commercial real estate with rents that are capped at CPI, you have currency derivative assets and the government's going to keep inflating the currency, devaluing those assets, which means that how is this going to end? If the U.S. keeps inflating the currency 20 percent a year, they're going to collapse every other currency. The dollar is going to spread everywhere in the world and eventually they're going to collapse the dollar and they're not going to be, you know, they can do it for a while, but eventually they're not going to be able to print more dollars and euros. May, that might not be two years from now. It might be five years from now. It might be 10 years from now. It's some time out. They'll get to a point and that point, that day of reckoning will be like, we have to raise interest rates. We have to stop printing money. We can't keep buying bonds. When that day of reckoning comes, the government will have to pay their bills and run the society based on taxation. And they will shift their focus from inflation to taxation and there will be likely wealth tax because the income tax won't pay at all and you'll go to a you'll go to a property tax and so the real question is what portfolio of property do you want to own when they start jacking up property taxes do you want to own the building in london because a billion dollar building in london is going to get a property tax assessment and you cannot move it to monaco you cannot move it to china do you want to own land you can't move it do you want to own a value do you want to own the franchise the soccer franchise they'll tax you you can't move the soccer team do you want to own gold do you want to own bitcoin right and so my view here is you're just buying a high quality portfolio of properties. Forget about Bitcoin. It doesn't matter. Say Bitcoin wasn't a position. We're talking. Sven, I think you should buy a high, port high value portfolio of trophy assets, collectibles, real estate, things that wealthy, affluent people will want to own in a decade that the, that the central bankers cannot devalue by printing more currency. And when the dust hits, when the, when the crap hits the fan and when the property tax comes, Ask yourself the question, how will my property be taxed and can the politicians impair it? The problem with a building in New York is the mayor of New York can tax it. The governor of New York can tax it. The country of the United States can tax it. 37 federal agencies can impair it and regulate it. It can be unionized, right? Whereas the value of a billion dollar Bitcoin building is it can move from New York to Wyoming. And then if the entire United States taxes it 10% a year, you can sell it to somebody in Monaco and it'll be valuable to them. We used to joke that yachts are, are portable capital. It's like the tax rate goes up in the port of Sardinia and that morning everybody pulls up their anchor and they sail off to France where there is no tax rate. It's a, you know, it's an expensive piece of capital. That's why Russians used to buy yachts because they could get their capital out of the country and they could float it around. In Argentina, the second time around, my lawyers came in and my, my finance people, they said, the Argentines have capital controls. We got another million dollars in Argentina. 
you know, the currency is 20 pesos to the dollar. I'm like, it's going to collapse to 80 pesos to the dollar. Today, it's 150 pesos to the dollar. I said, can we move it to the US? No. I said, can we buy gold with it? No. I said, can we buy something else with it? I don't know. I said, okay, guys, can you just go buy a yacht and sail it to the Caribbean with the money? They looked at me like I was crazy. This is before Bitcoin. Today, I would have bought Bitcoin. At least the Argentines took 90% of everything that everybody owned, every currency and every foreign currency account overnight without due process. And if those 50 million people had Bitcoin, they would have had to arrest all 50 million people, sweat them out for 90 days in a, in a jail cell to squeeze the keys out. So yeah, they could have done it. They would have had to extradite me from the US and haul me down to Argentina and arrest me for 90 days to get the Bitcoin maybe, and they still might not have got it. So, you know, this is all really about positioning yourself for the long term and building a property portfolio such that when the property tax comes, you're as, you know, you're as protected as you might be. And uh, everybody makes their decisions about what they think their risk is going to be in your political citizenship situation but we should hope in the free markets Finn, this will be settled by the free markets with negotiation in the political process and in a non-free market someone puts a gun to your head and shoots you and just takes your gold and takes your land and takes your company and we saw that happen in germany we saw that happen everywhere in the world I happen to believe that the Western world will stay free. I think eventually the crap hits the fan and the bond market collapses and the governments have to stop printing money. When they do, there's going to be a taxation event. It won't be one. It'll be a rippling set of political fights. I think it'll be peaceful. And I think we'll just be debating, do we tax your building, tax your land, tax your art, tax your stocks, tax your company? tax your crypto. And here's my key point. If you're if you're uh, a Brit, maybe the UK says we're going to tax your Bitcoin 5% a year and there's nothing you can do about it. You can't even run. But there's a guy in China or Russia or Singapore that might like to own your thing and you can sell it to them, whereas you can't sell them your building and you can't sell your house. And so some property is not fungible and transportable. Other property is. And so the whole basis of my view that Bitcoin is digital property and superior property is the fact that it is least likely to be impaired, hardest to tax, easiest to self custody. You have the strongest property rights in the near term. Heck, I couldn't tell you what happens today, tomorrow, next month, next year. You know, I'm just taking a one decade long view and I'm going to wait and let it sort itself out based upon what I know.